Hi guys, we've met before, right? Hi AD, I'm Cara Delevingne and welcome to my house. Leo, come on. Behind that beautiful blue door is 29-year-old model, actress, and singer from London, England, the multi-talented Cara Delevingne. And today we are rating her Los Angeles estate featured on Architectural Digest. This house is one of my favorite places to be. It's kind of like an adult playhouse, I like to call well, it. Well, right off the bat, I already know half of you are going to completely hate this house. But... But I actually like what I see. It's so Alice in Wonderland. I mean, if the Mad Hatter was real, this would definitely be his house. So that's a James Terrell. He's an American artist who specializes in light and space. I think he's in his late 70s or 80s. Anyways, that piece right there would probably sell for around a million bucks today. This is one of my favorite pieces in the room. It reminds me of being in England. I don't know why, with like horse straps, I suppose. We have a beautiful fireplace in here for the winter. A rotisserie chicken. Thing, which I've never used, but it was part of the old house, but I, it will hopefully one day be used when I am able to get my family here for Christmas. That will be This is not meant to be an insult, but Kara clearly has ADHD. She is moving and talking so fast, it's even hard to keep up. Her mind is racing at a thousand miles per hour, and it's abundantly clear in this design. But that mind is where this creativity is coming from. It's beautifully mad, and I'm here for it. Brighten everything up. And I took one of the old art pieces. I love how she's color blocking each of the rooms so far. Blue, green, pink, purple, but then subtly tying them all back together with the furniture, the accessories, even the drapery. You might not like it, but I'm actually telling you this was well thought out. This house is very hard floors, so when you step on the floor too much, it hurts your feet. That sounds so spoiled, and I know it is, but I got Yeah, I, I don't like these black floors. I feel like this home is crying out for a patterned wood floor like a Versailles parquet or a herringbone to continue with the sensory overload theme. I call this the games room, this wicked... Or maybe we just add another rug to the entry. I don't know, what do you guys think? Go with the rug, put the wood floors. I don't know. I don't know why. As we come over here, again, Hugh Hefner is a big inspiration for this house. You know, this is kind of feels like my Playboy mansion. I was very lucky. There seems to be inspiration from seemingly every decade between the 40s through the 80s. I'd say if I was Alice in Wonderland, he'd be the Mad Hatter. So this was probably the newest thing that he helped me create. So this is my vagina tunnel. Shall I go through? I'm going to go through. Oh, God. And then your inside. One day, the volcano under Yellowstone National Park will erupt and turn Los Angeles into Pompeii. A thousand years later, they'll be excavating Beverly Hills, come across this house, and be so confused. Although it kind of sums up everything they'll need to know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Shh. Oh. Oh. <sighs> See? Rebuffed and cleansed. Again, Niccolo made that idea come to life. Which I so know. Niccolo Bini is an Italian architect best known for his retail experience. He's worked with brands like Gap, Banana Republic, Dockers, even Kentucky Fried Chicken. On the residential side, his biggest client is probably Robert Downey Jr. or maybe the Getty family. This is where we lead on to the other Gucci wallpaper, so I like the kind of continuation of this house because, again, it's kind of crazy. And there's Leo again. Hi. This is my favorite bathroom in the house. This is the Davy Bowe. I don't love the gold pedestal sink, but I do like using the marquee lightning bolts as wall sconces. That's fun for a powder. I also think using something like that for a kid's bathroom would be cool. Very carnival-esque. Oh, this is my bedroom. Every time I walk in here, I feel calm again. Again, kind of the, with the theme of Alice in Wonderland, I have these like beautiful urns inside. I haven't liked either of the bedrooms so far. I didn't care for the wallpaper in the secondary bedroom. And this wallpaper in here reminds me of one giant Rorschach test. Do you see it? Anyway, sticking with the Alice in Wonderland theme, I feel like we're at the point in the movie where Alice falls down the rabbit hole and all of the colors begin swirling around her. That's exactly what this room is. All we need is a purple cat and a smoking caterpillar, and we'll be set. So it's still jungle, but I definitely think it's a bit more mad. So then we go out of here. This is kind of my little like garden sanctuary. I will say it was worth falling down the rabbit hole to land out here. Having this private sitting area surrounded by all the fruit trees and hearing the fountains erases any negative stars I would have deducted from either of the bedrooms. Oh, look at Alfie sitting on the bed like a good boy. These are his stairs. Or just my stairs if I need help getting into the bed. But she never knows. Might happen. 
This is my wardrobe. Everything, again, like I said, was very dark. So we just decided to kind of paint it all white. So as we keep going through here, this bathtub is everything. The massive TV, you see this little walkway. It's quite Everything scary. so far has been an over-exaggerated modern take on a home from decades past. However, this area just looks like a dated rich person's bathroom from the 80s. I would have expected another whimsical chandelier in the closet, more crazy wallpaper, possibly pink onyx on the countertops. But yeah, this just looks old. I guess when everything has been so over the top, this space comes off as reserved or possibly unrenovated. Lots of stripper heels, which is great. because actually. I mean, what do you guys think? Does it, does it fit? This is the kind of like David Lynch inspired poker room. So welcome. This is where I take people's money. Have you guys seen the movie Molly's Game? If not, I highly recommend watching it. Hollywood has had a long history of running underground poker games, and some of the biggest celebrity poker players are Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Kevin Hart, and supposedly the mastermind is Tobey Maguire. Maybe Kara is the new Molly Bloom of the Los Angeles underground poker scene. That would make for a good sequel. I'd watch it. Everyone needs to have a ball pit in a near vicinity. It doesn't matter what age you are. The meaning I have from this house is you just never grow up. For those of you unfamiliar and wondering who in the world is Cara Delevingne and how does she own this $7 million house? Well, she first started modeling at the age of 10 and has since worked for Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Saint Laurent, and pretty much all of the big fashion brands. In 2015, she was the second highest paid model in the world. She brought home about $9 million that year alone. Today, she's estimated to be worth about $35 million, not too shabby, although Cara has since quit modeling because it wasn't fulfilling and now focuses on singing, acting, and I guess, playing in the ball pit. This room is another continuation of my old house. This is kind of a little more sexy. I call this the pink room. This home was built in 1941 for the family who founded Vaughn's Supermarket. They were a deeply religious bunch and once even hosted Pope John Paul II in the late 80s. I wonder what the Pope would think of these renovations. Do you think he'd crawl through the birthing tunnel? My mother always said, if you're bored, you're boring, so. We have this like indoor outdoor area. This is phenomenal. Who wouldn't spend all of their time out here? I like how you've got all these various entertainment and social areas, but then they're spread out throughout the entire backyard. So depending on your mood, you can play board games under the patio, socialize at the tiki bar, lounge under the cabana, or just take a dip in the pool. This house already scored high on curb appeal, interior design, architectural design, and now this outdoor space might be the best of all. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a high, high score. So, I think that's all. I can't obviously take you in the dungeon downstairs, because that would be showing all my- So how do you guys feel about this delightfully dizzying LA pad? You already know I like the curb appeal and the backyard. The interior design had a lot of bright spots, literally and figuratively. Although it was just a little too over the top for my taste, if we could scale this back, reel it in, I think we'd be looking at a high eight, but I've got to judge it as is. So I'm going with eight two, yeah, 8.2 stars. That's the score. I'm very curious to hear your feedback on this one. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 8.2 stars for the Mad Hatter and Alice in Wonderland here. See you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, cheers. See you guys later. Get out of here.